Hello friends, welcome to Electronic Circuit Hub. So today we are going to understand about the current measurement by using this most popular op-amp that is called LM741. That means how you are going to measure your load current by using LM741 IC with the help of this LM741 op-amp how you're gonna measure your current for your any load let's say if I talk about the load it could be a motor it could be any resistive load or inductive load whatever load you are using for your application so how you're gonna measure the current of your load with the help of LM741 op-amp so in this video we will understand how you're gonna design the current measurement circuit for by using op-amp in order to measure the load current right so so if you look at here this is very simple circuit here i have used lm741 ic and if you look at this this is called basically this this basically is called the low side driver if i say the low side driver what does it mean that uh, low side driver means that your switch is connected with the supply and your load is connected to the ground and that is how you can see here i haven't used any switch uh, or supply i have directly used i have directly used the current source in order to fit in the load current okay so this is the 5 5 amps so now let us understand how this circuit works and then later i'll run the simulation and i'll show you the different voltages and the current waveforms right and uh, what is the wh what is the output voltage for this 5 ampere current and how you gonna how this circuit is gonna measure the load current okay so uh, this is basically a very popular op-amp lm741 and uh, if you look at here this is the positive terminal so i have connected v plus if i say v plus that means the supply voltage for this op-amp and if you go and look at at this uh, net this is v plus net so i have used here 12 volt source and 12 volt source is connected to v plus net and that is connected to the ground this is the ground ground terminal and this is the positive terminal of op amp that is also called the non-inverting terminal and uh, if you look at this junction i have connected one load and the current uh, i have connected in spite of using the load I have used one current source to source the current to the load and uh, and I am using this R1 that is called the shunt resistance in order to measure the current flowing through this load. So this is the load current I1 which is 5 amps and this is R1 is called the shunt resistance which is which is for this design I am using the 50 milliohm so now if you look at this minus terminal this is called the inverting terminal of an op amp and uh, if you look at this point this is the feedback resistance r2 and this is the what you call this is this is also r1 or r3 this is also called the feedback resistance so r2 and r3 are the feedback resistance and if you calculate the feedback for non-inverting op amp it is 1 plus rf divided by r1 that means the gain is 11 so for this amplifier non-inverting amplifier the gain is 11 and uh, now let me run the simulation and let me show you the different voltage and current waveform so go ahead here tile window vertically probably you can do the zoom fit that's okay and let me show you the first how much voltage you are getting here so here you are getting 12 volt and let me show you the current flowing through your load so if you look at this point the current flowing through the load is exact here if you look at it, it's 5 amps and this is your shunt resistance let us measure the voltage drop across the sun and if you measure the voltage drop across the sand that is 250 and uh, since the gain of your gain of if you look at the power rating for r1 this is also important you can leave so the power rating for r1 if you look at here this is around if you look at my cursor if you are following my cursor it is around 1.25 watt so this is basically 1.25 watt is the power rating for the 
for you need to select the resistance with the minimum power rating of 1.25 watt and if you consider the derating for the resistance throughout the, due to the aging effect and the change in the temperature you have to use higher higher power rating resistance probably more than 1.25 watt okay and now if you, your input is 250 millivolt so let me calculate 250 uh, what I'm gonna do is 0.25 into the gain is 11 let's see the output voltage and if you look at by using the formula direct formula for non-inverting terminal the output voltage should be 2.75 volt and now let me run the output voltage and show you what is coming so if I click on here if you look at our, the, our output voltage is 2.76 and our calculated value was how much if you remember 2.75 so if you see if the load current is 5 5 amps here and if you are using the shunt resistance of 50 ohm you can let's say the the power for the shunt resistance was how much it was 1.25 watt something around and if you want even lower down the power rating of your shunt resistance you can even use 10 milli ohm or 5 milli ohm resistance if you're dealing with the high current let's say if the current here is very high for 10 let's say 10 amps in this case you have to re reduce your shunt resistance value probably you can use 5 ohm or 10 ohm okay in order to reduce the power dissipation across this resistance because if you use 50 ohms it is gonna be uh, you need to resistance which can handle the higher power rating right so so I hope you guys you have understood how you are going to design the current measurement for your any load this is called the low side current measurement how you're gonna connect the LM741 how you're gonna design the circuit and uh, if you have any further question feel free to ask him in comment section from the output st output state I'm not explaining here how you're gonna use your signal conditioning circuit in order to read this voltage in the microcontroller and how your microcontroller gonna process that analog signal and takes the decision in case if there is a short circuit or overload happens at the load uh, there is a huge current will be flowing through the switch and the load in this case how your microcontroller takes decision based on the loading condition of your load so hope you understood